fish and then I can take that. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 We're good. Let's go. To bagels? To bagels. Good morning. You're being very cute. Good morning. Well, brightness should adjust. Good morning. Exciting news is that you are standing on a tripod. I feel like this channel has now grown and progressed and we are now, we're fully arrived. And then also, I'm sorry that I took so much time off. I feel like YouTube's like a rolling boil and I like stalled. So it's been a couple of weeks, but I'm back. So what I'm actually gonna be doing now is like the cooking videos that I like to watch, which are very like in the life vlog style cooking, like not the super tutorial ones. So with that all being said, welcome to a What I Eat in a Weekend. We just got back from the farmer's market. We saw some footage there and we got bagels, which I, cannot tell you how good this chai latte is and it might be because i'm freezing it was like 35 degrees today or it might just be that it's really good but bagel pub is a chain in new york hit them up for their chai lattes especially on a cold day you won't regret it i'm also filming the what i eat in a day for tiktok but um you guys get the open shot because you're more important to me um and i just objectively care more about you okay egg and cheese let's go I always build these up in my brain, but they're like only okay. Okay, Eric wants in. Oh yeah. That looks really good actually. Do you want some? I only finished like half the bagel because I wasn't that hungry. And honestly, I blame the chai latte because those like fill me up really fast. I'm microwaving the last half of it to have some more of. Um, but can't leave you hanging without a farmer's market haul. So. Fresh sage, two fifty. I know all the prices for everything and I like to share it because I think especially for herbs, it's way cheaper to get it at a farmer's market if you have access. Um, because look at all this parsley I got, tons, and flat leaf parsley lasts forever and that was only two fifty. Wait, 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 okay. Leeks, now, I like my leeks a little bit on the lighter side. These are huge, I love them so much, but I really like the stem part opposed to green in my cooking, so I like to get as little green as possible. And kale, $4, lasts forever. Shallots, lots of shallots. Arguably too much, I spent the most of my money on this, but I'm making a jammy shallots recipe. I'm making today, maybe I'll give you a sneak peek, but that'll be up next week. And then this is my favorite thing that the farmer's market does. There's one stall, they do garlic bags. They're amazing. Not all of the bulbs are perfect, but like, what can you do? And then all you have to do is peel. They're so affordable. So that is like everything from the mini farmer's market haul. I try to only buy what I need. And when I see people buying like all these veggies, I do get jealous. Cause I'm like, that looks, it makes you just look very healthy and very cool. But like, if I'm being honest, we always have a lot of like surplus of stuff in our fridge and I don't want to like overbuy. So I usually have tiny farmer's market hauls and like bigger grocery store hauls just because I know I can get what produce I need there as opposed to having to be like choosy at the farmer's market. This is recipe number one, and I'm trying to decide if the sun is being annoying or if I'm just bad at staging this because it's feeling really out of balance. It's times like these where I'm like, I never thought in my life I would be overanalyzing how one piece of parsley is greasier than the other, but I'm very grateful that I get to. This is an appreciation moment while I'm analyzing my breadcrumbs. If you aren't a big spinach person, my one tip is to slice it up. It's so much better when it's like kind of sliced and kind of wilted down. And this is so random, but I've been zesting this orange within like an inch of its life. It's been in my like last five recipes, but I'm not gonna waste it obviously. So I'm gonna peel it <laughs> and eat it. I There's more zest in this baby, but like, I'm not making an old fashioned anytime soon. I don't need it. And here's like my mess of a salad for lunch. Mix it all together because the, the shallots are so olive oil that it's olive oily. 
that I think they're gonna work together as a dressing. And it looks even better tossed together. You can kind of see what I mean, where like the shallots kind of like coat the spinach in olive oil and it makes it just like look that much better because the spinach kind of wilts down. Also the breadcrumbs are like almond citrus crumbs, so it, it goes together. So yeah, I'm very excited about this one. Mm, these shallots are good. But it is Sunday and it is a snow day, so I don't feel like really doing anything at all. Also, yesterday I was watching the gnocchi from yesterday and it looked so bad, but it was so good. And I found definitely through my sourdough journey, which that video is coming soon, but I found that like when making anything, the only way to get better at it is to just like continuously make it more and more and more and more. So working on my gnocchi aesthetic, but flavor wise, fluffy and on point. But today's kind of a lazy day. You just saw breakfast, which was leftover shallots on toast. And I'll check in again for lunch. But since it's super cozy, I might do hot chocolate before that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to today. I feel like it's a good day for a lazy day. And lunch is just like some lemony garlic olive oil Swiss chard with farro, which I filmed last week. Testing Christmas cookies. It's cold outside. Lucky Charms hot chocolate felt like the move. I always do this. I test a recipe under like moderate conditions with like a few tweaks and then I'm like, okay, it's ready to go. And then I do it again and I'm, it's never the flavor that I'm mad at. I'm always mad at the aesthetic. So these are hot chocolate cookies that are coming soon to a theater near you. And they're meant to be crinkle cookies, right? But they, I crinkled a bit too close to the sun. Yeah. I want a bit more chew to it. I want a bit more like bite. You can see it kind of crumbles pretty quick. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's almost there. I mean, the flavor is there. The aesthetic is what I want and it's almost there. Hello, dinner time. I also am a huge advocate for lazy days because today has been wonderful. But now it's dinner time. I was looking through our fridge and kind of cleaning everything out and we have these Thai chilies that I like definitely need to use, some carrots I need to use, and some scallions I need to use. So I'm thinking the easiest thing to do is to like make curry style, like vegetable medley that I can just do in a pan really quickly, maybe add some tofu. I'll probably actually add an egg because that just feels easier for me right now. And that'll be dinner. It'll be quick, easy, and full of vegetables, which is like what I'm craving. So yeah, let's get started making that. If you wash your carrots really well, you don't really need to peel. I'm gonna put some scallions on it. 
and that's it. Dinner is served in my ambient mood lighting. I have black wild rice, the Thai green curry that we ended up, it ended up being a Thai green curry. And I was telling Eric, this is like one of my favorite foods, but I never make it. So I'm glad we made it tonight. And then one egg, which the egg turned out good. It's just the yolk went completely to one side of the egg and the other side was left kind of naked. So it was a yolk break that left something to be desired, but I'm very excited for dinner. Apparently, this is very good. <laughs>